welcome to the Legal Learning Podcast. I'm your host, Jolene, and with the Legal Learning Center, I help prospective law students save $300,000 on law school. If you'd like an application checklist to help you with the application process, visit LegalLearningCenter.com. Today is a special solo show about a topic that is pretty much my favorite thing ever, Halloween. I'm going to share with you some costume ideas so that if you get invited to a Halloween party, you can dress as your favorite attorney or maybe attorney adjacent type of costume. So we're going to cover when you can wear these outfits and where and all that kind of stuff too. First of all, people do dress up in law school. Okay. They don't go all out. Generally, usually you see things like horns or ears and things like that but I will get into one costume idea that a student at my school did that was awesome. Let's talk about the law office setting. It depends on your atmosphere. I worked for a firm that we had an A plus costume competition. It was tough. There were always a lot of people dressed up in amazing costumes and the office was always decorated but not all offices are like that. So just know your environment. At court, you'd be surprised what you can get away with. You just need to know, again, your environment, know your judge. So what I've seen at court is people sometimes wear horns or again, ears. Um, What I usually do is I'll wear maybe an orange sweater with black pants. I have candy corn ballet flats that everybody at court loves. I wear them all month long. I wear skeleton earrings all month long. So there's definitely some stuff you can get away with to celebrate the season, if not just the holiday. Okay, so let's get into some of these costume ideas. So let's just get the obvious out of the way. You've always got Elle Woods, right? Now, to be more creative, I'd like to see some guys dressed up as Elle Woods because really, girls, it's kind of been done. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, same thing. Um, Again, these are really identifiable people. So that's what makes them, I think, also so popular because let's face it, most lawyer costumes are just people in a suit. So which lawyer are you? You could be from any movie, any TV show. It makes it really hard. But Elle Woods, Ruth Bader Ginsburg have their own like props, basically their own identifiers. And that's why people really, aside from liking the people, like to dress up as them. But I am going to give you some lawyers that have their own props that you can add to make things more identifiable. If you need help finding a judge robe, look to anyone who recently graduated. Graduation robes are judge robes. And by the way, they're also wizarding robes. All right, so this is what one of my classmates did during one L Halloween. We had a Civ Pro professor who wore a suit every day, but his coat was always too big. And so I think this student went to a lot of his office hours. He came in on Halloween wearing an oversized coat as part of a suit. It was very clear that he was our Civ Pro professor. So just be a little careful with that, but it was such a great costume. All right, let's get into plays on words. There's a lot of different plays on words that you can do. And if you come up with your own, please tag me in them. Show them on Instagram or wherever you are and let me see them but here's a few. So first you could do something like um, a pageant, like a Miss America pageant, but it's Miss Trial. You could do something, These a couple of these are where you just wear all black and then have something on you. So for example, the Erie Doctrine, you could cut out a picture of the Great Lakes of just Lake Erie. You can maybe even try and do something Halloween-ish because the word Erie, again, play on words. Um, you could do assault and battery, right? So salt and battery, and you could even do that with a friend. So you're each one thing, uh, briefs. I really prefer you not go to law school wearing briefs, but you could, um, pin briefs all over your body, or you could just take the longest document ever and glue that on because, you know, there's always the running joke that a brief is really actually a long document, right? It's a misnomer. So if you have a long document kind of taped to your body. Another thing you can do is some type of current event attorney. 
I can't think of any right now that's going on in the world, but I'm sure you guys can come up with something. I'll give you an example. I worked for an attorney who actually got shot on Halloween. It was all over the news. And the only way he survived was dodging behind a tree. And so then my friend told me they went to a Halloween party that night. And there was a guy dressed in a suit with a tree in front of him. So everyone knew who he was because it was on the news that day. So can you come up with something like that, some type of current event where everyone will know who you are? So the following are famous attorneys that are a little more identifiable. So in case you didn't know, Gomez Adams from the Adams family, the dad is actually an attorney. Atticus Finch, he has glasses that make him a little more identifiable, but another thing you could do is carry around the book to kill a mockingbird or maybe a doll that is wearing overalls. Vinny Gambini from My Cousin Vinny. I don't know if you want to bring around the girlfriend as a prop, um, you know, another teammate to dress up. Um, Gambini does wear like a leather jacket. He's a little different, but there might be some other props as well that you could incorporate. Charles W. Kingsfield Jr. This is the contract professor from the paper chase. So you could carry around a book of the paper chase. You could carry around a contracts book. You could wear a bow tie because that's what he wore. So he's a little more identifiable, but again, it's an older reference. So I think people are going to need a little help. Lionel Hutz from The Simpsons, that's the lawyer on The Simpsons. And that you could, you know, maybe carry around a Bart Simpson doll or um, you know, any other prop that's clear, it's from The Simpsons. And then John Milton from Devil's Advocate, that's the Al Pacino character. So whether maybe you get some red um, contacts and devil horns, and then you wear a suit, that kind of thing, or maybe there's some other props that you can find from the movie that would help people know who that is. But basically any of these just require that you have something to help people know which attorney in a suit are you? Because they're all just wearing suits and it's helpful if you actually watch the movie and learn some mannerisms, learn some lines so that it just helps people that much more, especially if you're trying to play some type of guessing game. Guess which attorney I am. So I hope these help you with any legally themed costumes that you might be interested in doing. If you do any of these, or again, if you come up with your own, please tag me. I want to see them. And as always, I appreciate you listening. Please, if you have a moment, leave a review. It just helps us so much. Thank you.